All right, your plane cube. Start, create 2D sketch. We always sketch on the front plane. I'm going to make a rectangle. You can type in those blue boxes your depth, or sorry, your width is two. To go to the next box, press tab. Type in a two, press enter. Hit your home button so you can see all of it. To add depth, you need to finish your sketch and extrude. That's how we add depth. Type in a two and press enter. Here's your cube. On the very top goes your, your hole, and a hole is made by a point. So we get to create a 2D sketch, put your paper on the top, you're going to click your point. So there's my point, but now I need to tell the point its location, and you do that by dimensioning. So click your dimension. So what is the distance between my point and the top of my cube? So click both of those. It is one. And then the point to the right side of my cube is also one. If you look down here in the bottom, it says I'm fully constrained. So I finished my sketch, and now I click hole. When I do that, your hole is probably set to, your termination is probably set to through all. You want to change it to distance. And then the top number is the depth. The depth of your hole is 0.5. And then the diameter of your hole is 1. And you'll notice that the point is directly in the center of my hole. If I wouldn't have done a point first, my hole would have gone wherever it wanted to go. Um, you also want to change your drill point to flat. When you have all that set, then hit OK. There's your hole. Now on the front view goes our circle that's extruded. So I get my pencil, click on my front view, and now I'm going to grab my circle tool. I'm going to click. And remember when a number is blue, you can type in it. The di diameter of my circle is 1, so type a 1, hit enter. So there's my the size of my circle. Now I need to tell my circle its location. So I'm going to get my click dimension, click the center of my circle. So what's the distance from the center of my circle to the top of my square? Numbers always between arrows and outside objects is 1, hit enter, and then from the center of my circle to the right edge, pull it up, those dimensions are always 1, and hit enter. When you're finished, you're going to have to click finish sketch, and now we're going to, to extrude this circle. So click the circle that you want to extrude, and then type in it's extruded 0.5, and hit the green check. On the right side goes our square that's extruded, so click your pencil, click the right side, and this time you're going to make a rectangle. Again, when numbers are blue, you can type in them, so the width of my rectangle is 1, hit tab to go to the next box, and the height of my rectangle is 1, and then hit enter. Now I need to tell the distance from the right edge of my rectangle to the right side of my cube, so click the right edge of your rectangle right side of your cube, and that distance is 0.5. Then click the top of your rectangle and the top of your cube, and what that distance is supposed to be 0.5, and hit enter. It says I'm fully constrained, so I finished my sketch, and now to add the depth, I hit extrude, click your circle, and you want that extruded 0.5, Hit your green check and hit OK. And there's your cube.